guys my name is Hotso welcome back to another video as you can see I am outside the one and only Daytona Motorsports without any further ado guys on the channel today we have a stage 2 hybrid turbo N54 335i I'm excited for this one because as you guys know this is my personal favorite car or one of my personal favorite cars without any further ado guys hope you enjoy and I'll see you in a sec cheers Fine, thanks yourself. I'm all good, man. I'm all good. I'm happy. Thank you for bringing me along. Thank you're you for inviting me. I'm welcome. really, it's really an honor. Thank you for this opportunity. You're welcome. Man. All right, it's the topic of the day N54 335i. Mm. Ah, notorious, notorious, very notorious. However, I think actually, if I'm not correct, if, I'm, if I stand to be correct, this is the fastest 335 in Botswana, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, I believe so, eh? Right. I believe so. Uh, I don't know of any other one that has managed to push out as much as. We've managed to accomplish on this uh, platform on it. It it does decent power, yeah. uh, considering it's still on a stock engine. Mm -hmm. um, factory, factory, factory. Uh, nothing uh, really been done on the inside and stuff like that. Besides your usual maintenance, you know. Um, with the N54, when um, when people start pushing them and as they get a little bit old, they tend to have quite a bit of factory faults. Mm -hmm. um, where I wouldn't say factory faults, but uh, stuff that's over it time. get defect it gets defective yeah. over time and stuff like that so we've done the usual the timing kit we um change the water pump the water pump tends to fail quite a bit on those n54s right. as well exactly. um the car's got a set of what we call 12 index injectors exactly. uh, those are the latest version or the last version released by right. bmw which um proved to have the most consistency without any failures and stuff like that. Upgraded the in-tank fuel pump to a bigger one, obviously looking at the power levels that we were going to be pushing. The, oh, standard the, one. Fuel, uh, the, the, the fuel pump in-tank is upgraded. Wow. The car runs a Walbro um, E85 485 liter per hour okay. uh, in-tank and that supplies um, uh, original brand new OEM uh, high pressure fuel pump. Uh, in terms of the cooling and stuff like that, we've uh, upgraded the engine oil cooler for the vehicle. The car runs a slightly bigger radiator as well. Uh, the factory uh, intercooler has been swapped out for a seven and a half inch uh, front mount intercooler, uh, upgraded 76 mil uh, boost pipes. It's got a 50 millimeter teal uh, blow up valve. Um, the car has got hybrid turbos. So, with regards to the forced induction side of the vehicle, uh, initially when we got it, it um, it was already failing on the rear turbo. Another very common fault on the N54s is the turbos don't really last. So, uh, first things first, we, 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 we got ourselves a set of hybrids uh, imported from overseas, uh, custom spec wheels, front and rear on it as well. Um, still stock placement location and stuff like that so we managed to get those guys on um, we upgraded the intake systems for the turbos usually on the right hand drive car the inlet sides are on the passenger side but we've managed to put them over onto the driver's side which we relocated a coolant bottle and stuff like that so a lot has gone into the car um, it uh, runs uh, water meth injection cool boost stage 2 water meth injection uh, depending on what boost setting you've got on the car we either run it 50 50 water or methanol or 90 percent methanol right. 
So it's it, continuous, no matter... Um, the, the, the kit does have a progressive stage two controller. Yeah. So the stage two controller comes with a lot of features. It comes from the guys um, called uh, Cool Boost. The brand of it is Cool Boost. A absolutely phenomenal um, uh, water meth kit. Personally, I advise that one yeah. all day, every day. I've used it in all my applications and I've had only, thing but only good things to say about it. So it runs with a uh, 315 cc uh, water methanol injection that's placed directly into the charge pipe. Okay. Uh, it's got a pump and a controller with a, a boot mounted uh, bottle and stuff like that. So those uh, help give us a little bit more octane. And since, you know, we decided that uh, pots can get fairly hot, it's it's pretty hot uh, country. And you want that consistency, you know, of your car just being able to be cool and running optimal. So exactly. that thing comes on per boost. And when it hits that level, it starts spraying this mixture into the intake, but everything is automated. The system's got warning lights and everything. Should your fluid go low, it'll tell you. Should your nozzle get blocked, it'll tell you. If your pipe gets a hole, it'll tell you. So it's a, it's, it's a pretty unique system. So is that, is that coded into the ECU? Uh, no, this is a standalone one. You can code it into the ECU as well, but on this particular platform, we decided to keep it separate. As for the ECU itself, uh, uh, ECU itself, we have upgraded it to the. Um, it's called the MSD eighty one. Okay. Uh, the the N fifty four N fifty fours come with the MSV uh, eighty okay. and MSV eighty one. So we went to the eighty one version, which is a little bit faster and stuff like that. Uh, controlling the ECU, we have got uh, something called uh, MHD is the platform that yeah. we use. Um, we use their platform to read and write flash from the car, although the, 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 the tunes on the car are totally custom. Uh, we use the platform, but we write our own tunes and stuff like that. Um, the car's got two boost settings. Um, the first one is a slightly lower powered one where you get a decent fuel consumption and stuff like that, you know not too wild not too crazy over the road something that even if you want to overtake you can do it in a calm manner uh, that one there pushes out um, last on the dyno it did 305 kilowatt on the low boost one and uh, then we've obviously got a high boost setting where um, we we change the, the the content of the water meth and on that uh, second boost setting the car makes 390 kilowatt uh, 739 newton meters of torque Jeez, that is, yeah, that's so it's uh it's something to drive on the road hey it's yeah. it's, it's quite hard to keep it in a straight line okay. uh, i'd say in future the the things that i would upgrade on the car was definitely to get an lsd yeah, uh, diff into the car so you can put the power down a lot uh, a lot better as compared to the open diff exactly exactly so with these in, uh, 335s, I, I believe one comes in X-Drive and one comes in the rear-wheel drive. Uh, our model specifically is the rear-wheel drive, right? Our models are the rear-wheel okay. drive. Hence the other NSD. Yeah. Alright, so our exhaust. I saw the post. Yeah. Valtronic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's true. Okay, so basically on the car we've got a full 76 mil dual uh, Valtronic exhaust system. The Val Valtronic system comes from um, our uh, uh, supplier in South Africa called Rogue Performance. Uh, we do their downpipes and stuff like that as well. So the two Valtronic systems do come from them. Okay. And it's all controlled by a little remote inside the car that controls the sound of the car. Control and um, going, look, I'd say personally for me, it's been the most daily friendly, powerful, super street car that I've built, you know, because it's got such a good balance going on between it. Mm -hmm. You close the exhaust flaps, you put your car into normal drive, it's quiet dude you can take your kids to school you can take your wife shopping mm -hmm. in that thing for the month and groceries and she won't know exactly. anything yeah and time comes around you decide to get a little bit sporty with That's it cool. uh at night time you you come next to somebody at a robot you know or something mm -hmm. of that sort and you want to see what it does it's just a push of a button exactly. and you've got 500 500 horses wow. just underneath your pedal Jeez. all the time a total sleeper of a car Very much so, so when you look at it it's not anything too fancy too flashy and stuff like that but uh, i think it's honestly the best street car that i could have said that so far we've put together yeah. in in this german uh scene, scene type of here. thing yeah and yeah. it's an old car dude you must know that that particular one is 16 years old exactly exactly it's a 16 year old car and um we got it to make uh, as much power as some of the stuff that's standing on the showroom you, see? you know you can exactly. you can actually come with a car like that and compete something mm. with today's technology exactly. 
and um, it's beautiful, man. Wow. And it's forged from factory two N fifty four. Yeah, it's 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 much stronger than um, some of the previous and before and after versions of the three three five that came out, and it's uh, it's really strong, eh? Yeah. It's yeah. really really strong. Jeez, man. Um, I think we've covered pretty much everything. Yeah. I think there was one more thing, but I particularly oh yeah, the transmission uh, SXP software. Personally, one of my favorites, especially on this Beamer platform, if you could elaborate on that. Just yeah, so, so with this one here on, uh, on the transmission, it uses a uh, XHP uh, Stage 3 custom flash. Okay. So it's very similar to the MHD where we use the platform and we write our own... Over the shelf. Over, not over the shelf, that one's custom. Over the shelf is like your one that you can just like download yeah, exactly. and put into the vehicle. The Bluetooth one they usually have. The Bluetooth one. So with that there, we've up, obviously increased the line pressure and stuff inside the gearbox the time that it takes to change okay. um the amount it can rev to and stuff like that so it's 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 a good thing to have i'd say to put all of that power down you know the the, the transmission is key you can make the engine fast but if the other thing doesn't hold so the the xhp brilliant pro product on this bmw uh, platform i think honestly one of the best in terms of how um, you can adapt the trans and the stuff you can do to the transmission and stuff like that really wonderful stuff exactly, exactly. Um, So yeah, actually this will actually be one of my personal questions because I'm very interested in the N54 So let's just say that N55, N54, particularly N54 obviously However, um, this comes with the ZF6 speed. Uh, obviously it also has a manual as well But with the ZF6 speed, uh, I'm aware that you're not able to have the same thoughts as the ZF8 speed Will it have to do with any ignition cut or delay or retardation of your time? Uh, look, I'd say normally when it comes to that part, it's not completely controlled by the engine ECU. Okay. It's actually controlled by the gearbox ECU. So with this, with this this version of uh, gearbox transmission that came in this N fifty five N fifty four, it's not a like a DSD or a dual clutch system. It's an automatic. It's an automatic with a torque converter. So that type of farts and stuff like that were when that transmission was now later developed after this in the newer models of the BMs. Those ones came with that. Well, it's called a momentarily ignition cut. Okay. It's called a momentarily right. ignition cut. So it practically just cuts your engine for a second while okay. your car goes into the next gear and exactly. let's go alone. Exactly. All right. Is it possible though? On an N54? Not that I've seen, eh? <laughs> Not that I've seen. I've never ever seen somebody. Yeah, do I've it. tried searching online. Just yeah. maybe, you know, stars are lying about myself. No, the I think it would have been a nice feature for the car to have. Exactly. It would have made everything just perfect having that oh, one fart. Exactly. I definitely think. But it is possible. Um, for the videos, I'm, I'm really into the N54. You're yeah, going to excuse yeah. me. But uh, it is possible when you lose traction. Apparently, that actually cuts the ignition a little bit. You're able to have the farts. But, mm. you know, I stand to be correct. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. It works exactly like that with the traction control. It, it works the same thing, but just not for the gear change to help you stop the car from sliding exactly so wheels uh so wheels on that car we've got a original set of uh, e92 v8 m3 wheels mm -hmm. that we had um sprayed in a, in a gloss uh, black perfect perfect and brakes all this uh, power and then stopping power <laughs> look the brakes currently are, are pretty much standard in terms of size okay. uh, it's just got a little bit of an upgraded pad and stuff like that because like I said, it's it's a street car, you know, so we want to keep it as treatable as possible. Exactly. With the brakes, we do tend to see that sometimes when you go to an aftermarket or a much harder compound brake pad, mm -hmm. it tends to squeal when it's cold exactly. yeah. and it's a noise that I just can't yeah. handle. <laughs> just with the comments from the brakes yeah, too, you they, need they, they, they make way too much noise, eh? Is it that bad? Way too much noise. <laughs> but if you hear a proper carbon ceramic brake pad even if you've got your music playing right. the guys in the cars next to you will be looking at you and closing their eyes like Jeez. why is the sound coming out of this man's car Jeez. they Jeez. really really Jeez. loud now but hopefully it's a hot day today we're gonna get some nice warm weather yeah no definitely so, let's uh exactly. let's go let's go turn and burn perfect i'm excited i'm excited
long road with it and travel with it. And yeah. Yeah, I think the, the, the sound comes out very nice. It's electricity to one's ears. Mm. It's fire, it's not too much. It's Pops and bags get <laughs> mandatory pops and bags. Mandatory. Even though people, there's a lot of contention, people hate pops and bags, but I love the moderation. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true. Yeah. I believe in the same, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Too much of anything isn't good for you. You know what I mean? And it's bad for the turbos too. Because it's not uh, LSD, yeah. the cup pulls to one side, yeah. and that even if you're trying to overtake and it pulls, right, right. you can crash and thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. So LSD probably is definitely mandatory. Yeah, definitely a must. At this power level, a must. Yeah. I get 335. Nah, I get automatic. Yeah, I get 
think we've got some. So with that said guys, that is the end of this epic video. I enjoyed myself. Unfortunately, I didn't get to drive it, but next time, there's always next time guys. I'm excited you can see the smile on my face. Clue.